question before we go any further. Midfield right now in the league, out of all of us here, where do you rank your midfield? I personally say I'm, I have the best midfield. Martin, Martin Odegaard, Carte, Declan Rice. Anyone think they have a better midfield? Oh, for Ellen City? No, no, no. We're not including right. City. Just us <laughs> here. So Tottenham's would be... Tottenham's would be Benton Core, Madison, Basuma. Yours would be uh, Kendall would be Tanali, Bruno, and uh, what do you call it? Um, what's the Linton. Linton. Joe Linton, Manchester United, Mount Casemiro, and Bruno, Chelsea, Enzo, uh, Caicedo, and who else? And Kunku or Lavia? Uh, That'd be Lavia. Oh, yeah. Kunku is playing. Do you think he's going to play as a striker? Why is that for Yeah, let's just say love you. Just say love you. Because everyone ranks City's uh, midfield as the best. So out of us here, yeah. who has the best midfield and who has the worst? Because my point was the Chelsea, uh, not, no. not Chelsea, but Manchester United, their midfield it looks like the worst midfield out of all of yeah, them. Yeah, and also it's a tough question to answer. Because... I think it's better than Liverpool's at the moment. Um, oh, yeah. Come, come. What I was about to say, I think it's really difficult to answer that question here because the only team we've actually seen have all three playing consistently is none of them. Yeah, sure. So like, like how is just odd? You know, what, you know what I'm saying? Though? How is just odd? Like, yeah, but we've only played two, like yeah. two games. But, with I mean, you know, yeah, like none of our midfield, no one here has had a solid three player season. Look at that list. None of them. So, Castemir, Bruno, Mount, Lavia, Enzo, Caicedo, Rice, Partey, Odegaard, Basuma, Bentancourt, Madison, Endo. Sabozlai, so McAllister, Bruno, Tonali, Joe Linton. So we ready to Look, Igal, your, yours is much more a known quantity than any of those. Yeah. All of your guys oh, have played in the Premier League and have performed well. Lavia, Enzo, Caicedo, that has the makings of an incredibly good midfield. But obviously, Enzo played half a season, Caicedo's played and, and Lavia's played, but never, not together. Liverpool's, you know, only, only one of them has ever played in the Premier League before. So, and the other guy came on for 15 minutes yesterday. So, um, it's a difficult one. But your paper, yours, I'd say Arsenal's looks the strongest right yeah, now. for sure. And I, and I hurt, United so. is the weakest based off of... Arsenal is definitely the strongest, but I'm having Spurs up there in the top two, maybe even top three, and I'll tell you for why. We know what Benton Cole can do because he was bossing it before he got his ACL. If he comes back and do, uh, plays the same, uh, it was still got a top player on our hand. Basuma, you saw what he could do at Brighton. Now he's doing it for Spurs. Now he's actually got game time and he played in the right um, uh, formation for him. And everyone knows what Mavis can do. He's done it year in, year out for, for Leicester and he's doing it at Spurs already. So it's sturdy days. And if that midfield continues at the way it's doing, then yeah. Do you have years over Do you have years over Chelsea, Newcastle? At the, at the moment, definitely over Chelsea at the moment. Newcastle. What is Alan um, talking about? What is this coming? No, no, I'm interjecting, I'm interjecting you. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. No, no, girl, I can't have this. Okay. No, uh, but I think Spurs is definitely top three. No, but girl, four, I'm going to debunk this. Okay, let's go. Over, you, over yours at the moment. What do you mean at the moment? At the moment. Going based on, they're going based on what you've seen, and your, your, yours is just going. No, in. no, no. No, Alan, Alan, Alan. The question you, I had for it, the question you, I had for it now was. Have your eye rate. But he's just coming to that Chelsea team, so you don't know about him for Chelsea. Like, I I, 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 let me just say something. Yeah. Enzo, yeah, people send baller, but most Chelsea fans were slagging him off last right. season. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just let me just debunk Alan's point because he's weak fired. They won I want to see where Kendall ranks hers. All I'm saying is, are we ranking this off names on paper, or no. we've seen of what wait, pause, of what we've seen from the players play? Because if we're saying like names on paper. Then it's very easy to rank it. If we're saying based off what we've seen from individual players, we know like how what are you ranking it by? You wanna know something? You wanna know something? There's no parameters on how you as an individual rank it, but personally for me, this was my rankings. And people don't kill me. Cam Cam, close your eyes. Rack, close your eyes. I had I had Manchester United last, Liverpool second last. I had Newcastle third uh, fourth because I just felt like Joe Linton, Tonali. Oh, people you know, underrate Joe Linton, man. I just rate Benton Core Madison Basuma third, even though they're Tottenham. I hate Chelsea, but I put them second because of their potential. And Arsenal, because Kendall, what you said, there's such a proven commodity. I think it was Rack actually who said it, there's such a proven commodity. I put all three of them there first. So maybe I'm biased, but that's, that's okay, what I'm I mean. So the thing about this is that ball, I mean, like at the end of the day, um, 
I, I don't it like, at the end of the day, like when it comes to Brun, like when it comes to Mount, like I just I'm not convinced he's gonna stick to that midfield, right? So if, like if he's if that is the case, then yeah, we'll probably be the worst midfield. But if you look at the midfield that played all of last season where it was Erickson instead of Mount, we didn't lose a single game with those three, right? So it's kind of like this is a it's a hard exercise. It's a very hard exercise for me to judge. Um, especially when you look at right now putting Spurs ahead of like I think Bruno G and Tonali are so much better than the other two players that it's like, I don't know if they're a better midfield until I see what happens with their third player. Um, he's hurt. That's why I'm not. But, but like, in my opinion, Tonelli and Bruno G are way better than Basuma and Madison. That's just my opinion. I, I um, mean, that's, that's cool. Right? That's why I said second or third. Yeah. Because if people want to put Newcastle, because obviously Bruno, we know what he can do. Um, Joe Linton's kicked on and literally gone from a forward that weren't working at Newcastle to a great, like he's playing really well in midfield. Um, and who's the other guy, Tonali, who's just come in, who we know what he can do, but we wait to see him and he's doing all right in the Premier League, but he's going to progress and get better. So I can easily put them there. But we're judging from what we've seen. We're not based on names because Chelsea are like play, playing the game like it's FIFA and spending money and just getting, and you've got the names, but it's got to see whether it works or not, my friend. What do you mean? Because was, was in the best midfielders in the league last season. Lavia was on the bench. I just want to say, Kendall, Rack, where do you guys lie with this? And does everyone agree with me? Man United last. Um, go on, Kate, do you go first. As we've said, it's just so hard to judge because a lot, pretty much all of these, obviously, bar like Tottenham, because obviously they are all Premier League players. Bar Arsenal, they're all Premier League players who've actually played in the Premier League before, and obviously. Man United, they're like such unknown entities that you don't even like. They, we could actually have the worst takes ever when we do this list now. Like in like three months' time, someone will be like dropping it, like, "Oh, look at you! You said such and such was third in this list, and they're like so crap or whatever." But um, just right now, just based off a mixture of potential, a mixture of what we've seen, a mixture of the players that I like, I think um, I would just obviously go Arsenal first, just because Arsenal are like the best team out of that lot there. Obviously, Man City first, obviously, um, but just for purposes of this conversation, Arsenal, um, Newcastle, Chelsea, no, Arsenal, Newcastle, Tottenham, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man United. That's mine. Ooh, you got Tottenham ahead of thing, right? Yeah, because I, I really, I like, I really like James Madison a lot, and I really liked Basuma as well when he was at Brighton. So, um, Amrabat, Amrabat hasn't joined yet. Once Amrabat joins, we can have a different conversation. So, uh, I'm just going to talk about Liverpool's midfield because, you know, well, the rankings are kind of irrelevant. Um, McAllister, I think he's going to be a very good player. I'm going to, I'm going to, he's, he's good on the ball. He's decent in the tackle. He's hardworking. He's cultured. He can beat a man. Uh, he can pass. I think he's going to be a, a very good signing for us. I can, I can see him fulfilling that kind of genie wine Alden role um, and doing it very well. And Soboslai just looks very good so far. I mean, yesterday he was just playing little passes here and there, beating beating players, um, playing little through balls, not through not splitting through balls that split a whole defense, but just playing small through balls that take a man out and that get you on the attack. And um, I'm I'm very encouraged by his impact. Endo Endo is a complete unknown quantity, but if we can get a competent defensive midfielder in there, I think then I think we'll be in, in good condition. We will see. It's still early days about about our midfield, but th those certainly Sobislai McAllister, I'm very encouraged about. Okay, and you know what? Enough about that. Let's get into it. Chelsea got smashed by West Ham, and Chelsea in the mud, in the mud. Chelsea. In the yes, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that video on Eagle Talks Football. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about what you just watched, and also if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we're on the road to 25k, and let's try to get to at least 30k maybe by the end of next season. And as of right now, I bid you guys adieu, but don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. Mm -hmm.